What's up everyone and welcome to Move Your 30 Day Yoga Journey. It's day seven, Nourish. Let's get started. All right, let's begin today seated, palms together. Take your time getting down here and settled in. Taking a moment just to let go of the day thus far. Politely put whatever you have to do later on hold. This is time that we've carved out for ourselves to connect back inward to pay attention to how we move and today to receive the nourishment that comes when we take this time for ourselves to breathe, to move for the brain and the body. And stay open to any joy that you might feel any comfort, any support. I am 100% totally here to support you on this journey. So I hope you can stay open to receiving that support, the comfort, the joy, and the nourishment that comes with mindful movement. Close your eyes if you haven't already, just taking a second to allow your energy to settle and coming into this present moment again, putting the past and the future into your periphery and Devoting your focus to how you feel in this moment, gently deepening the breath. And bowing the head to the heart. And taking one more deep breath in here. And using your exhale to release the mudra, open your eyes and come forward onto all fours. It's day seven, that's when I start singing, sorry. Okay, drop the belly, open the chest, look forward. Slow and steady exhale, rounding through, chin to chest. Good inhale, drop the belly, open your heart. And exhale, rounding through. Beautiful, inhale to tabletop, nice neutral spine. And we're gonna turn the fingers around and in towards the body, left hand and then right hand. So both hands are turned in. Again, you can always go halfway or even a, a quarter. Just feel it out and then nice and easy, small circles. Feel your core turn on a little bit here. <laughs> Relighting that fire a tad from yesterday. Connecting with your breath. And then releasing the hands, bringing them forward. Send the hips back, child's pose. And, and then inhale right back up. Exhale, child's pose, getting the juices flowing. Inhale, right back up with your breath. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, gently guide it forward. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, guide it forward. Last time, exhale, send it back. This time, walk your hands all the way over towards the left side of your mat. Maybe they even come off the edge of your mat. Send the hips back, breathe into the right side of your body. And then exhale, walk it through and take it to the other side. Same thing, using that visualization, that imagination to send breath down to the base of the pelvis, feeling that expansion in the left side. Good. 
Beautiful, come back to center. We'll lift back up, come to tabletop position. When you're ready, curl the toes under. Send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Take some gentle movement here. Now I'll invite you to elongate your inhalations and lengthen your exhalations. Play with that, inhaling longer and really extending those exhales, letting it really empty out each time. Cool, then we'll walk the feet all the way up towards the top edge of the mat. You can crisscross or step-step, anything you need. You can change up that transition from time to time. I encourage it. We'll meet in a forward fold. If you have a little Benji or if you want to imagine having a little Benji, you can give him a little pet. And then hands will come to opposite elbows. We'll rock gently side to side. Bend your knees, long inhalations, long exhalations for this nourishing day seven. Mm. And then release the arms and we're gonna slowly roll up with a generous bend in the knees. So as you do this, feel the tips of your fingers trace along the front line of your legs up through the shin. The kneecaps lift as the fingertips trace across them. Then we trace the fingernails all the way up through the front of the hip creases. And then we're gonna reach the arms all the way up and overhead as you stand nice and tall. Imagine you're holding a big beach ball up and overhead. Inhale in, exhale, split. You're gonna soft and softly bend the knees as you open to the left side. Left fingertips go back, right fingertips go forward as if, as if you were like in between two window panes or two walls. Inhale, rise up, lift the kneecaps, strong legs, and then exhale, soft bend in the knees as you open to the right. Right fingertips back, left fingertips really reach forward so you're being pulled in two directions but you're holding onto your center. Good, and then inhale, we rise back up. And exhale, bend the knees, wiggle the fingertips, float it all the way down into your forward fold. Toes are pointing forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. This time maybe playing with shins, uh, excuse me, hands on the shins, but we also know hands on the thighs and we also know airplane arms, so you can start to play. And then release, beautiful step. Just the right foot back, just the right foot, lower the right knee, inhale, reach both fingertips forward, up and back, big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, you're gonna pull the left hip crease back, send the left fingertips back, right fingertips forward. So just like we did in mountain, but now we're in this nice low lunge. And if your left arm gets stuck here, cause the pec and shoulders tight, no worries, breathe deep. Good, inhale, both arms reach all the way back up and exhale, we float fingertips down. Beautiful, plant the palms, step the left foot back, plank pose, inhale in here, exhale down when facing dog. Good, step the right foot up, lower the left knee to the ground. Inhale, both arms sweep up, big breath, big stretch. Good, exhale, here we go, turn to the right. Right hip crease pulls back, right fingertips reach back, left fingertips reach forward. Connected to the upper abdominals here to feel that length lifting up out of the posture. Good, then inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, take it all the way down. Plant the palms, step the right toes back to plank. Inhale in, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Bend the knees, inhale to look forward. Exhale this time, maybe you hop to the top or maybe step step or crisscross steps. Again, it's up to you. Making your way back up to the forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, your version. Find length in the neck extension in the spine, and then exhale, let it all go. Beautiful, fingertips come to the mat. We step the right foot back, lower the right knee to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, palms come together. We're moving into a twist here, outer edge of the right arm to the outer edge of the left thigh. Now bring your bottom hand into a fist here so you can use your left palm to really press and find more extension in the spine here. Breathe into your belly. 
Front foot is glued to the mat. Breathe deep, neck is nice and long. Beautiful, inhale in here, exhale to release. Plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Inhale here, doming up through the upper back body and then exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take a breath here, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, look forward. Step the right foot all the way up into your lunge. Lower the left knee to the ground. Big breath, big gesture here, inhale. Rise up, fingertips reaching towards the sky. Exhale, palms come together. We start to twist, pull the right hip crease back. Outer edge of the left elbow to the outer edge of the right thigh. Bottom hand comes into a fist. Press your right palm on top of that fist to find length in the spine. Breathe into your belly. Foundation is strong. Breathe here, you got this. Beautiful, and then slowly release. Plant the palms, step the right toes back, inhale in. This time, exhale, slowly lower down to the belly. Good, inhale, cobra, nice and easy here. Exhale to soften and release. Curl the toes under, inhale in, press up to plank or all fours if you need a little break. Downward facing dog. When you get in downward facing dog, take a deep breath in and exhale out through the mouth. Good, on your next inhale, lift the heels high, 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 so you're on the balls of your feet. And then listen carefully, you're gonna tick-tock on the balls of your feet, you're gonna just take your heels over towards the right and pause here, breathe, feeling that stretch as you press into the left palm, press into the right palm. Good, then rock through center, tick-tock through center, stay on the balls of the feet as you Bring the heels now over to the left again. Press away from your yoga mat. Feel the stretch, beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop the heels down towards the earth. Lovely, bend the knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Good, this time bring the feet together, really together. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Exhale to soften and fold. Bend the knees generously. Bring your thumbs to the hip creases. Send your hips back, way back. Then drop the fingertips down to come up and use this kind of reaching of the arms forward to kind of counterweight, sending the weight way back into your heels. Breathe. Then keep the right fingertips reaching forward as you draw a line with your left fingertips across the chest and all the way back. And then send it back forward, sink a little lower, and then right fingertips across the chest. Take it all the way back. And then take it forward, sink a little lower. Inhale in, exhale, rise all the way up towards the sky. Big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, release the fingertips down. Interlace the fingertips behind your back. Draw the knuckles down and away to open up through the chest. Draw a line with your nose over towards the right shoulder. Receive that little kiss on the neck. And then over to center and draw a line with your nose over towards the left shoulder. Soften the skin of the face and just feel this tenderness, what it feels like to show up for yourself seven days in a row in this way. Trying new things, meeting your comfortable edge. Okay, come back to center or uncomfortable edge for that matter. Here we go, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Just find length in the neck, in the spine. Soft bend in the knees. And then let it all go. Good. Step the right foot back. This time you can keep the right knee coming down to the earth or we can work this time with it lifted. Big breath. We send the fingertips forward, up and back. Nice high lunge. Good. Inhale in here. Exhale. Opening to the left. So twisting, opening to the left. Left hip crease pulls back. Left fingertips back, right fingertips forward. Now from here, listen carefully. We can do this on the knee too, with the back knee lowered. We're gonna send the right fingertips up towards the sky, left fingertips down. Maybe you grab onto the outer edge of your right thigh. Maybe not, but just checking it out. Inhale in. Good, exhale. 
cartwheel all the way back down. Keep the back heel lifted, step it in just a bit. Straighten the left leg. Good, soft bend in that front knee. Pull the left hip crease back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Then light a little match in your core. Lift the right foot up just to kick it back, back to your lunge, good. Nice, plant the palms, step it back, plank pose, doming up through the upper back body, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, look forward, step the right leg all the way up. Again, option to lower the back knee here or keep it lifted as we inhale, we rise, strong high lunge here. And then pull the left hip crease back, connect to your center, nice and easy. We send the right fingertips back, left fingertips keep reaching forward. Beautiful, now we're gonna turn it, we're dial it, so left fingertips reach up, right fingertips down, maybe we grab the outer edge of the left thigh. Again, we can do this on the knee, feeling that whole body with the breath, building strength, engaging muscles that maybe haven't been engaged in a long time. We got this, inhale in, exhale, cartwheel it all the way down. Back heel stays lifted. You're just gonna step the ball of the left foot up just a bit, straighten the front leg, pull the right hip crease back. Good, now bend your front knee, lift the back foot just to kick it back to your lunge. Good, plant the palms, here we go. Step the right toes back. Inhale, look forward, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. So you're gonna go upward facing dog or cobra. Inhale in, in your cobra or up dog. Exhale to make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply here and exhale completely. Bend the knees, inhale to look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to soften and bow. Good, inhale, bend the knees, send the fingertips forward, up and back. Slight back bend here as you lift the chest and then hands come together and we come back to mountain pose here. Just close your eyes and capture this moment. Notice what it feels like. You can feel your heart maybe beating here, the blood pumping. And we're gonna step the feet as wide as the mat. <clears throat> Toes pointing forward. Interlace the fingertips, press the palms out. We're just gonna drop the hips back into a little squat here and then lift. Lower and lift. Really pressing into the outer edges of your feet. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower, and lift. The next time you're low, stay low. Breathe deep here, pressing into the outer edges of the feet, the ball joint of the big toe. Then you're gonna keep the lower body where it's at, release the bind, and we're gonna take the right hand to the right inner thigh and just send the left fingertips all the way up towards the sky, open. Good, and then release, take it to the other side. Back of the left hand comes to the left inner thigh. And we send the right fingertips all the way up, open. Beautiful. Now we're gonna inhale a little modified star pose here. So take up space, send the fingertips out left to right. Lift the heels if you're feeling brave. Lift, 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 and lower. Good, lift and lower, lift and lower. Now if you weren't lifting, go ahead and lift here, everyone. Lift, lift, lift. Hold on to, um, a focal point and out in front, something that'll help you with your balance here. And then you're just gonna slowly, starting with the tips of the fingers, soften the fingertips, soften the wrists, soften the elbows, relax your shoulders, lower the heels, we'll walk the feet slowly together. Mountain pose and we're just in this softness, this just, Am I gonna say supple? Yes, just like suppleness, this openness, this nourished mind, nourished body. 
And take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And last one, make it amazing. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, forward fold, soft fingers. Plant the palms, step one foot back, then the other, and then lower onto your knees, lower all the way onto your belly. Try to keep the softness. Good, then we're gonna roll onto our backs here, join Benji. And when you get there, you're gonna kick the legs up towards the sky and reach the arms up towards the feet. So we're like a little head bug here. We're just gonna shake the feet, shake the arms, ending our practice here with a little shake. Give it a try. This is as much for your brain as it is for just kind of <laughs> the release of the physical body. So come on now, if you feel silly, you're not alone. We're here for three, shake a little faster. We're here for two, a little more. Surprise yourself as fierce as you can. Shake, 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 and then release. Let everything go. Let the legs go long. Let the arms rest gently at your sides. Tuck your chin to your chest. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in. And as you exhale, relax the weight of your body completely and fully into the earth. Let everything go. A little truly goes a long way. So taking a moment here to just let it all soak in. You are so loved and held and seen in this practice because you show up. So I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very restorative practice that I personally don't think you should miss. And we already committed to this full journey together. So how about I'll just say, see you tomorrow. Bring the palms together. Go ahead and gently rub the palms together just a little bit as you bring the hands up to the forehead, the brow. Final breath all together. So collective as a community, inhale lots of love in. And lots of love out. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you.